All right, hi guys, this is Ryan coming at you with a little video update from my backyard. Beautiful day. Uh, might be a little too bright, not sure how it's going to look, but here we are. Um, so we're going to talk about a couple of topics today. Um, one is how my tastes have changed, which you might see in the title subject. Um, and then also, when is enough enough? Like, when have you lost enough weight where that's where you want to stop and 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 some some thoughts on that so it's gonna, it's gonna be kind of a shorter video but want to touch on those two topics and of course we'll start with numbers because why not um, high weight was 326 three months later I weighed in at my surgery date on February 24th at 294 last week I weighed in at 220 and then this week which was Tuesday which was yesterday today is Wednesday today yesterday I weighed in at 218.8 so that is a loss for the week of one pound point two. That is a total loss of one point, uh, excuse me, of 107 pounds point two. And since surgery, 75.2. So still big numbers, doing great, um, rocking. Right now on my lunch break from work, drinking a little vitamin water zero. It's one of my favorite kinds. It's called squeezed. Kind of like a lemonade, but more just kind of water. Um, I don't like things really sweet, so that's pretty good. Um, so I don't like pizza. Yeah, let that sink in for a minute. I don't like it. I try to like it. I want to. Went to the in-laws house yesterday. We had some pizza. I, I just really can't eat it. I try to eat just the toppings, not the bread. Something about it, it's just not. I mean, I can eat it, and it's, you know, it's fine, but it, I just really don't like it that much anymore. I got home and a couple hours later I was a little bit hungry again and I thought about having a little bite of it and spit it out. I just really don't like pizza anymore. It's a crazy thing because I always really liked pizza. That was probably one of my weak things, weak spots. Certain kinds of pizza, I would know what places in town were, were best quality and all that kind of stuff. We talk about a lot of specifics of things I like about pizza versus not. I mean, I always felt like no pizza is bad, it's just they all have different different takes. So. Anyway, yeah, I just really don't like it anymore. So that just goes to show you, like, your taste buds change so much, um, or they can. And, and that might have something to do with I eat healthier foods now, and I eat less breads. I don't crave breads and carbs like I used to. But it just, I think it has also something to do mentally. This is a time where your mind and body really connect, and you really understand your stomach and, and what goes in it, how your stomach feels, and what types of things are going to... Um, fill your stomach in a way that's good or bad and so your mind is a lot more conscious um, at least in my case of what goes into my stomach and how my stomach reacts so um, so I just want to touch on that that's I think that's crazy let me know what you guys think in the comments if you have experiences with pizza or you know maybe years down the road it'll come back and I'll, I'll like it a lot more but at this point I, I'm not a big fan of the bread of it and the toppings which you would think would be the best flavor just you know, don't really do it all for me. So, um, on a side note, I do like bacon, very crispy bacon. I will do that. Go figure. Um, then the main topic I want to talk about is when is enough enough? So when have you lost enough weight where you say, hey, I feel good at where I'm at. You know, I'm not at my goal that somebody had for me, but I'm at goal, my goal for me. Or maybe you're at your goal and you just want to keep going. Whatever that looks like, I'm getting a lot of comments now like, well, Ryan, you really shouldn't lose any more weight. Like, I don't think you should. Um, you know, and, and where are you going to lose it at? And so, and you know, in our minds, we think we, we can go farther. My doctor has set a goal for me uh, from 190 to 200. She wants me to be that range. So I used to think that was kind of crazy. I thought 215 to 225 was, a, was my own crazy range. But I'm going to do that and I'm going to get down there. But I'm starting to have a little worry that maybe I won't be able to stop. Like maybe I'll keep losing. I don't necessarily want to. Like where I'm at now, I want to tone up and I want to get in more better shape. But as far as just straight weight loss, it's not a huge goal of mine right now. I just want to be healthier. I still, I think if I lose a little more weight, my my breathing at night, not using the the BiPAP machine for my sleep apnea, I had. I think that'll be better so that's one big thing because I, I still feel like I'm not sleeping all the way right and I think it's something to do with the the breathing and, and you know I'll get a new sleep study so who knows but um, you know just health wise I think that 190 200 
you know, my doctor saying that that's a, a range that I should be the most healthy at for my body type. Um, you know, being six foot. So I'm at 218-ish right now, so, you know, not too far away from, from that Wonderland range. But um, I don't know. I, I, you know, I don't want to be greedy. And there's part of me that thinks if I didn't get to 200, I'm, I'm going to get there, but I don't know how much I want to stay there. And we'll see when I get there. But I kind of feel like I'm a little bit in the back of my mind worried that I'm not going to be able to stop this where I want. And uh, so I've tried to a little bit increase my calories the last couple of weeks um, to try to slow the weight loss down and, and really start preparing myself for that maintenance mode. And um, so I just kind of want to express some thoughts on that about, about you know, transitioning to maintenance and, and how that plays into the mind game and the physical game. And, you know, even for me, I work with like 20 people at the branch I work at and, uh, and then tons of customers that I see all the time on a regular basis in my community. So that I, that I know quite well and I get comments, you know, about, you know, you're doing great, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, sometimes I think people feel like, hey, you know what? can you really afford to lose another 20 pounds? Like, I know I've seen a lot of other videos from you guys out there that have went through some of the people that are farther along than me have went through similar things where people say, oh, you know, I don't think you should lose much more weight. And in our mind, we're like, yeah, we got to get, we're so focused on that number, that goal, whether it's a number, whether whatever it is, we kind of block all that out and just keep full steam ahead. And you got to stop and look around every once in a while, like Ferris Bueller would say. Um, so, so that's really it. Anyway, guys, just some topics there. Feel free to leave a comment. I'd be happy to uh, answer any questions. And uh, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.